Hi, you guys. It's season 1027. Um, so, because I don't really have anything busy that's going on, um, I'm going to start playing this game, and it is called My Candy Love. And I'll put the link in, um, in the description. It's like one of those, like, girly love games type things, but I was just thinking, hey, how about I just go ahead and, um, show you guys, like, some stuff on there. So, yeah, so I'm going to start this. Um, I'm actually going to use my friend's, um, my friend's email because mine is already busy. Um, so, yeah. Um, and the, unis the username I'm going to do is going to be Shanae. Um, only because I already have, like, um, a person named Shanae, and I only use that for my middle name because I already, um, started using my, um, oh, yeah. Um, I already started using my, um, my first name at first, but then I kind of lost it, and I can't use that name again. So, yeah, and, um, the other name like the real Shanae, it has like a C to it instead of an A, um, an S. So I'll just be using that. And, um, password. Okay. Um, I'm going to do my actual birthday. And I accept. And then. Well, my hair color is, um, is actually like brown with, um, it's actually brown with, um, with red highlights. But I, I'm just going to do red. Um, going to change her eyes a little bit. Um, and I want to give her, well, yeah, I'll give her, like, a little, um, like, a little mold or whatever it is, because that's actually where one of my molds are. Um, or, no, actually, beauty mark, because that's where, um, I have, like, so many beauty marks, but that's where one of my beauty marks is that I really like. Um, and I want to give her, like, that little mouth, because I, I just love that mouth. I do that mouth for, like, everything. So, yeah, and we're going to click OK down here. And we're going to start the game. Um, actually, what I first want to do is I will be right back for a second because I actually want to give myself some more action points. So, hold on. Okay, so I am back. And um, I just finished going ahead and going on my um, email. I actually have to change my email. So, um... So, yeah, I had to change the email because it wasn't really working, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, um, so, this is basically what's going to happen. Um, I'm just going to show you guys, like, um, once a week what's going on. And, so, what is going on right now is I am going to show you the first episode, um, which is going around school. Um, we're going to have to be mean to a whole lot of people, but, um, yeah, you'll get my gist and my reason behind it. So right now we have, um, 105, um, points or something like that. Yeah, 105 action points, because, um, once when you register on, um, on the email, that's when, um, basically, like, you'll get, like, extra points and extra money, so, yeah, so, here we go, we're gonna start with the first episode, the introduction, um, basically, like, the game tutorial and how it works, so, yeah, here we go. Hi, welcome to my candy love, my name is Chino Mimi. And I'm here to show you how the game works. Are you ready? Yes. Let's begin with the action points, or APs. They allow you to perform different types of actions, like getting from one place to another. Next. 
You can see your number of APs at the top of the screen. 10 APs are awarded each day you log on. If you're out of APs, you have to wait till the following day or take a trip to the bank. And, that, and basically, like, taking a trip to the bank, like, basically, like, you have to, like, pay with, like, real money. You have to pay with real money in order to get action points if you go to the bank. Not, like, this game money, like, real actual money. Um, great. Let's try it out. Try to go into the room on the right and come back. I'll be waiting here for you. Okay, I'll be back. So we're going to go to the student council room. And this is the student council room. This is where you're going to be meeting a guy named Nathaniel most of the time. So yeah, main hallway. You're doing great. Let's continue. Um, in addition to APs, you also have money. You can see how much money you have at the top right of your screen, just under the APs. You can use the money to buy clothes and other things. You are, giving you are given $15 every day when you log on. If you need more, you can always go to the bank, which means you can always spend your own hard, danged, earned cash for it. So, yeah. Do you understand how the money works? Yes, I understand how the money works. Good. And while we're on the topic of money, my services aren't free. So, if you could settle my $100 fee before we go into any further, please. Um, no, I'm not going to pay you. That's not very nice. I wanted to go shopping. The guy at the clothes shop is so cute. Well, anyway, I'll keep going for your sake. Also, in the top right corner of your screen, you can find your morale meter. It raises and lowers according to what you do in the game and the people you meet. Anyway, we'll keep going for now. Basically, like, there's, like, a whole list, like, above, like, this little area. And it has, like, all your stuff. You've probably seen it while I've scrolled down. If you don't, just, like, go back, um, like, maybe, like, a few minutes and just look at it. Um, and then you'll know what she's talking about. Um, if your morale falls to zero, you'll be too depressed to go out, which doesn't make, um, it easy to flirt. You'll need a day or two before you can go out again. Do you understand? Speaking of flirting, you are definitely going to meet some interesting boys around here. However... There are some things you need to know first. They all have their habits and routines. You'll find certain boys more easily in certain areas. Those are the places that they prefer in general, but be careful not to go there too often. Also, some boys are easier to find than others, but they are not necessarily easier to flirt with. You follow me? Yes, I follow you. So, do you see the bar to the right? That's the level meter. When you talk with a boy, the bar goes up or down. The higher it is, the more the boy likes you. On the other hand, the lower it goes, the less likely you are to win him over. This is very important. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Great. Now let's uh, put it all to practice. Go back into the room to the right and make some, sm uh, some small talk with a friend of mine there. I'll wait for you. Okay, I'll wait for you here. Okay, so we're going to go to the student council room. Um, hi there. So you're new to my candy lab? I'm Boris. My job is to welcome new people. It's a pleasure to meet you, young lady. When I first saw him, I thought he was a pedophile for some reason. I don't know. I always thought he was a pedophile. Really? That fills my heart with joy. So basically, like, after we said it's nice to meet you too, his, um, heart meter went up. Um... It's not often that people say that. I hope that you have fun here, young lady. Goodbye. Okay, yeah. So we went inside the main hallway. Back already? Good. You can catch on fast. You, um, made a good impression on him. Anyway, um, at the end of an episode, you'll have access to a date with the boy that you got along with, um, that you got along best with. So there are always different endings depending on the choices you make. When you get a date, you have to realize that the outcome isn't guaranteed. You have to choose clothes that the boy will like and answer his questions correctly. If you do well, your date will be a success. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Now that the boys are great and all, now that, okay, I know that boys are great and all, but you also have, you also meet all kinds of other characters who are not always so nice. Everyone isn't, um, me, you know. He, he, he. I should suggest that in each episode, you keep an eye out for your aunt. 
She is a funny lady who is always ready to give you money, APs, or even unique and exclusive clothes. What else do I need to tell you? Oh yeah, in the episodes you'll find mis uh, missions to complete. For example, information you need to get. So don't hesitate to talk to a lot of people. You could also be asked to find certain objects. There are three possible ways to do that. Sometimes you can just simply buy them in a store, get them from someone, or find them um, in the decor. You have to keep your eyes open. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Uh, don't think that it will be easy. Let's give it a try, okay? Go back into the room to the right, find the little sculpture that I made in art class, and bring it back here. Okay, off I go. The thing that she actually made is, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty nice. So we're going to go to the student council room, and this is what she made, and it's an elephant. It looks kind of weird, but I pretty much think it's pretty cool, because it's like colorful. I really love colorful things, especially like neon colorful things. So we're going to go back to the main hallway. Um, you haven't found it yet? Come on, try harder. Yes, I found it. It was pretty easy to spot. Hee <laughs> hee, I guess that wasn't too difficult. I'll let you have it if you want. You can put it in your room for decoration, but we're not done yet. I have one more. I have more to tell you. Okay, next. Back to shopping. I forgot to tell you. Not only can you buy clothes, there's also a jewelry store. The rings there are pretty, are super pretty, and each one has a special power when you wear it. For example, you can wear a ring that makes it easier to find a certain boy. The many different powers explained in the description of each ring. You'll see for yourself. Personally, I like to collect them all. Do you understand? Yes, I get it. Good. One last thing that's very important after I'm done. After that, I'm done. Okay, um, listen closely. You have the possibility to replay videos. There are two ways to do it. With story replay, you replay an episode and your choices will be taken into account in this scenario. You'll have to replay all the episodes that follow the episode you replay because obviously changes um, in the story will occur. For example, if you're in episode 5 you and you decide to replay episode 2, you will have to replay episodes 3 and 4 before getting back to episode 5. So, story replay is what you need to use if you want to change the course of your story. Otherwise, there's single episode replay. You can go back and replay any episode without having it an effect on your story. This is a replay you should use if you want to try out different endings or try to find special objects, etc. without changing your story. Of course, whichever replay you use, you get to keep all the illustrations or objects already collected. So that's all for replays. I know it can sound complicated, um, so don't hesitate to ask me to repeat anything if you need me to. Are you sure you've um, understood everything? Yes, I understand. Fantastic. So we're done. There's nothing else for me to teach you. So I'll let you get started with the fun at My Candy Love with Episode 1. If you have any problems or questions, feel free to go over to the forum in the help section. See you later. Have a great time. Young lady, wait. I know it can be hard sometimes starting a new adventure. If you run into any difficulty in your first episode, make sure you check out the guide with the solutions in for episode one in the assistance forum. Episode guide, um, episode one. So yeah, um, we have finished our um, our episode. It was like our first episode. Um, first day here in New City, um, a new high school, but there are some things to do. So I'll start this episode one um, next week on Thursday. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to the apartment. We're going to go to object. And I'm going to go ahead and place that little elephant statue on my dresser. I think it's pretty cute. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, which is basically like telling us like the rules and what goes on. So yeah, um, the next episode will be on Thursday. So yeah. So I'll see you guys um, next week on Thursday. Hopefully I can find another game. 
and um, I can't wait for you guys to watch that episode too. So, bye.